Hello and welcome to this first look exploring session looking at some of the Townley plays. We're looking at the first three plays from the manuscript and uh, as we go forward we've already done one in the past. I say we, I haven't actually, I wasn't in the room, Liza did it um, and some other people in this room may have done it as well. Um, having done in the past uh, the uh, what is known as the second shepherd's play um, uh, so yeah, yeah ordering of how these are going to come out may be a bit random random because uh, it is quite a random manuscript as well because how you number some of the plays because some of the plays are in the manuscript in the wrong order so I do you do it chronologically do you do it in the order that they're in the manuscript how do you order it I don't know the numbering systems depends which edition you're looking at they differ ah um, so uh, yeah, so we're we're generally going to work through this, possibly in a slightly Dadaist fashion. But today it's very straightforward. We're looking at play one, two, and three in the text, uh, which is the creation uh, and a bit of the fall. Uh, they are Cain and Abel, and or Abel and Cain, depending on your preference, and and Noah. And those are the three texts we're looking at today. Uh, the Townley plays is another one of these complicated manuscripts. It's named after the the, the people who own the manuscript. Um, we cannot for, with any certainty say where the plays, the individual plays or the plays in totality came from, uh, who wrote them. There are various competing theories and ideas about that that are out there. But the general consensus is that this is a composite text uh, from uh, various different sources uh, in the same way that N-Town is, um, but different in, uh, in oh so many different ways. But there are differing opinions on that. You can by all means, start a fight over it, but not with us because we don't care. Uh, all that matters to us is how the plays themselves function and to read through the first three plays we have in the room. Reading um, First Bad Angel, First Demon, Adam Garcio, First and Third Son of Noah is... Hi, I'm Eric, and I mean, I feel like the first two characters are basically me. Well... Well, well, I'm sure we'll find out. Um, reading Lucifer, Abel, and uh, Noah's wife is... Uh, Liza Graham in London. All my characters are basically me. Uh, reading God in the first play, and then Cain and Noah is... Steve Longstaff, scholar of early modern drama based in the northwest of England. Uh, reading uh, a cherubin, first good angel, Eve, God in pageants two and three, <clears throat> and first and third wife uh, of uh, the sons of Noah is. Hello, I'm Helen Good. Uh, yeah, I, I don't see myself in any of these people. <laughs> And uh, joining us uh, briefly for the uh, the first play, uh, reading Second Good Angel is... Hello, Lindsay Beecham. I'm an actor and this is my penultimate day in Norfolk. And uh, I'm your host, Robert Crichton. I'll be reading uh, Second Bad Angel, Second Demon, Second Son, Second uh, Wife to the... The, the wife of the second son. Um, that's going to be quite weird. Uh, and a, any occasional stage directions which may need translating. Uh, and uh, as we go. Um, so, as I say, we're going to be starting uh, from from the beginning. I believe it is a very good place to start. Um, and uh, God is uh, going to uh, come on and uh, and do some uh, some some big talk. Ego sum alpha et o. I am the first, the last, also, one God in majesty, marvellous of might most, Father and Son and Holy Ghost, one God in Trinity. I am without beginning, my Godhead hath none ending. I am God in throne, one God in persons three, which may never twinned be, for I am God alone. All manner thing is in my thought, without in me there may be naught, for all is in my sight. It shall be done after my will, that I have thought I shall fulfill and maintain with my might. At the beginning of our deed, make we heaven and earth on breed and lights fair to see, for it is good to be so. 
darkness from light, we part and dwell in time to serve and be. Darkness we call the night, and light also the bright. It shall be as I say, after my will this is brought forth brought, even and morn both are they wrought, and thus is made a day. In midst the water, by our ascent, be now made the firmament, and part either from other, water above, he wis. Even and morn made is this, a day, this is t'other. Waters that so wide be spread be gathered together into one stead that dry the earth may seem, that it is dry the earth shall be. The waters also I call the sea, this work to me is queen. Out of the earth herbs shall spring, trees to flourish and fruit forth bring, their kind that it be kid. This is done after my will, even and morn made is there till, a day this is the third. Sun and moon set in the heaven, with stars and the planets seven to stand in their degree, the sun to serve the daylight, the moon also to serve the night, the fourth day this shall be. The water to nourish the fish swimming, the earth to nourish beasts creeping that fly or go may, multiply in earth and be in my blessing, wax now ye. This is the fifth day. Our Lord God in Trinity, mirth and loving be to thee, mirth and loving o'er all thing, for thou hast made with thy bidding heaven and earth and all that is, and given us joy that never shall miss. Lord, thou art full mich of might, that hast made Lucifer so bright. We love thee, Lord, Bright are we, but none of us so bright as he. He may well hight Lucifer, for lovely light that he doth bear. He is so lovely and so bright, it is great joy to see that sight. We love thee, Lord, with all our thought, that such a thing can make of naught. And God leaves his chair, and Lucifer immediately nicks it. Certes, it is a seemly sight, sin that we all are angels bright and ever in bliss to be. If that ye will behold me right, this mastery longs to me. I am so fair and bright. Of me comes all this light, this gain, and all this glee. Against my great might may nothing stand then be. And ye well me behold, I am a thousandfold brighter than is the sun. My strength may not be told, my night, my might may nothing ken. In heaven, therefore, wit I would above me, who should one? For I am Lord of bliss, over all this world I wis. My mirth is most of all, therefore, my will is this. Master, ye shall me call, and ye shall see full soon anon, how that me seems to see it sit in throne as king of bliss. I am so seemly blood and bone. My seat shall be there as was his. Say, fellows, how seems now me to sit in seat of trinity? I am so bright of each a limb. I trow me seem as well as him. Thou art so fair unto my sight, thou seemst well sit on height, so think me that thou knows. I read ye leave that vain royce, for that seat may none angel seem, so well as him that all shall deem. I read ye cease of that ye sayin, for well I wot ye carp in vain, 
It seemed him never, nay never shall, so well as him that has made all. Now and by aught that I can wit, he seems full well thereon to sit. He, if he is so fair, without a niece, he seems full well to sit on days. Therefore, fellow, hold thy peace, and unbethink thee what thou says. He seems as well to sit there as God himself, if he were here. Leaf. Fellow, think thou so? Think thee not so? Yea, God wrote, so does other mo. Nay, forsooth, so think not us. Now there of a leak what wrecks us, sin I myself am so bright. Therefore will I take a flight. And then the demons ex exit crying ah. and... The first demon says, Alas, alas, and well a woe, Lucifer, why fell thou so? We that were angels so fair and sat so high above the air, now are we waxed and black as any coal, and ugly that it is spoil. What ailed thee, Lucifer, to fall? Was thou not fairest of angels all, with brightest and best and most of love? With God himself that sits above? Thou hast made nine. There was ten. Thou thou art full foul coming from thy kin, thy kin. Thou art fallen that was the ten from an angel to a fiend. Thou hast done us so wild despite and brought thyself to sorrow in sight. And alas, there is nought else to say, but we are tint for now and they. Alas, the joy that we were in, have we lost for our sin? Alas, there ever came pride in thought, for it has brought us all to naught. We were in mirth and joy enough when Lucifer to pride drough. Alas, we may worry wicked pride, so may ye all that stands beside. We held with him there, he said, Lys, and therefore have we all unpeace. Alas, alas, our joy is tint, we mon have plaint that never shall stint. Earthly beasts that may creep and go, bring ye forth and wax ye, mo. I see that it is good. Now make we man to our likeness that shall be keeper of more and less of fowls and fish in flood and the stage direction translates as he touches him so i assume he touches adam sprites of life i in thee blow good and ill both shall thou know rise up and stand by me all that is in water or land, it shall bow unto thy hand, and suffering shall thou be. I give thee wit, I give thee strength. Of all thou seest of breed and length, thou shalt be wonder wise. Mirth and joy to have at will, all thy liking to fulfill, and dwell in paradise. This I make thy wanting place full of mirth and of solace and i cease thee therein it is not good to be alone to walk here in this worthy one in all this wealthy win therefore a rib i from thee take thereof shall be made thy make and be to thy helping yea both the govern that it Yea, both to govern that here is, and evermore to be in bliss, ye wax in my blessing. Ye shall have joy and bliss therein, whiles ye will keep you out of sin, I say without an lease. Rise up, mine angel cherubin, take and laid them both in, and leave them there in peace. And then the cherubim takes Adam by the hand, and uh, God continues saying. 
Here's thou, Adam, and Eve, thy wife, I forbid you the tree of life, and I command that it be gat. Take which ye will, but nay, not that. Adam, if thou break my reed, thou shalt die a doleful deed. O Lord our God, thy will be done. I shall go with them full soon. For sooth, my Lord, I shall not stead till I have them thither led. We thank thee, Lord, with full good cheer that has made man to be our fear. Come forth, Adam, I shall thee laid, take tent to me, I shall thee raid. I read thee think how thou art wrought, and love, my Lord, in all thy thought that has made thee through his will angel's order to fulfil. Many things he has thee given, and made thee master of all that liven. He has forbid thee but a tree. Look that thou let it be, for if thou break his commandment, thou scapes not, but thou shalt be shent. Went here into paradise, and look now that ye be wise, and keep you well, for I must go unto my Lord that I came fro. Almighty Lord, I thank, I thank it thee that is and was and shall be of thy love and of thy grace, for now here is a merry place. Eve, my fellow, how think thee this? Ah, steed, me think of joy and bliss that God has given to thee and me without an end, blessed be he. Eve, fellow, abide me there, for I will go to visit more to see what trees that here mean. Here are well mowed that then, then we have seen, grass and other small flowers that sm smell full sweet of sere color. Gladly, sir, I will full fain, when ye have seen them, come again. But look well, Eve, my, my wife, that thou nay not the tree of life. For if, thy do, thou, for if thy, thou do, he be ill paid. Then be we tint as he has said. Go forth and play thee all about. I shall not nigh it whilst thou art out. For be thou sure, I were full loath for anything that he were wroth. Who we and ever this time have seen, we that in such mirth have been that we should suffer so much woe, who would ever trow it should be so? Ten orders in heaven were of angels that had office, sir, of each order in their degree. The tenth part fell down with me, and for they held with me that tide and maintained me in my pride. But hearkens, fellows, what I say, that joy that we have lost for a, God has made man with his hand to have that bliss without an end. The nine order to fulfill that after us left such is his will. And now are they in paradise, but thence they shall, if we be wise. And unfortunately, there we now have uh, uh, the rest of the players lost, uh, sadly. Um, our play number one, uh, Lucifer comes in, boo hiss, and, uh, and we have no more. Um, uh, there's four pages, I think, missing. Before we s jump straight to uh, play two, um, but we're not going to jump to play two. We'll have a little chat about play one. Um, I'm... Yeah, it's uh, God's God's uh, doing some God 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 business there. Um, good solid God. Um, uh, I mean, you, you've got your eye in with York, so obviously uh, uh, you, 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 you've got a sense of the game here. Um, how does it compare? Um, I mean, this is also I should point out our last creation. We have done all the creations now. Uh, we haven't got any left. Um, so uh, we, a compare and contrast exercise will be occurring. Uh, any thoughts from the room about this uh, this initial creation of uh, fall of Lucifer and uh, and creation of mankind? Oh, I'll go to Stephen then, Eric. Stephen's currently muted. Uh, 
I, there seem to be um, sort of implied stage directions regarding levels. There's, there's a fair amount of sort of rising up going on. Um, so I think that's interesting because we've we've got. Uh, I think uh, um, Adam sort of comes out of the ground. Um, uh, there's an angel rises up after that. Lucifer's fallen. So I'm I'm wondering if this was a pageant staging, for example. You know, what how that would how that would play. Whether we've got um, whether we can see a lower level. You know, on the kind of model of a you know sort of bars of a jail or something so that we can see lucifer below or mm. whether whether we've just got a sort of standard trap of some kind but um i can't remember exactly the references but it, it struck me as i was reading that there's there seemed to be a sort of vertical axis to this in terms of staging mm. uh, eric i was just going to say it's interesting how you don't have like you know basically lucifer you know, sits in the throne and is something like th thrown down, which is quite like interesting. It's not like God isn't even there. It's not like turning up and going, give me my chair, dude. It's kind of just sort of, I don't know, the, the sin of pride, which has obviously like, I don't know, it's just an interesting sort of interpretation. Yeah, it's it, it's it's Lucifer himself sort of cues it all. You know, I will take flight. It's more a sort of um, Icarusy kind of thing, isn't it? Um, that it's like he's, I will fly. Ah! <laughs> um, but you're right. Uh, if you want to find, uh, dude, what are you doing in my chair? Uh, then you can go to Chester or N Town. I think does it as well. Um, and it is explicitly, uh, don't sit in my chair. This is my chair. My chair is great. Um, don't sit in my chair. Uh, whereas this and uh, and York and um, uh, do not do that. Um, and this one is, yeah, so the way Lucifer basically uh, throws himself down almost. Uh, or there may be other inferred business that could be done there. Uh, Helen. Yeah, it's only my second creation, I'm afraid. So uh, I, I may be wrong here, but I hadn't seen the the touch for the creation of Adam. Mm. Very Michelangelo Sistine Chapel touch. You yeah. know, you can see the hand coming over and the little spark between them. Yeah, well, the dialogue says "spite of life in the uh, eye in the blow," um, but the, the I say the Latin stage direction does does basically say that it's a, it's a physical uh, touching thing going on there. I'm I'm glad Helen brought attention to that. I think stage wise, if you're you know since they're doing this with essentially no tech, it's a really good way of solving the creation if they have you know actors on stage, but the actors aren't animate yet. God has to make them animate. Hmm. Yeah, we got we got a yeah whole line of uh, Adams. Uh, they've been molded in clay, but until God does the breathing and the touching, then there's the they're just they're just models, you know. There's uh, uh, the production line uh, does has has to be activated. Uh, Stephen, um, it, it is just a feeling. I'm not, I I started going back and looking at York, but God seems to be a, a bit more tender in this one, to towards the idea of the creation in general. Um, I, I got the feeling when I was reading God, God for York that it was a, it was a bit more of a sort of, um, you know, a, a, a kind of project report um, with a great deal of detail. Whereas the, there did seem to be a sort of, um, I don't know what the word would be, paternal, uh, yeah, a tenderness at work here, or it could be played that way anyway. Well, yeah, and we don't see him being wrathful. Um, you know, the fall of Lucifer is almost inferred. Um, the demons talk about how awful it is. And then God turns up and say, um, you know, quick. Um, I, I, I quite like doing some more creation -y stuff. He, he almost doesn't address it. Um, uh, Liza. Uh, I, I actually really like that. I mm. mean, when... In a way, it makes it more theatrical. Lucifer says, you know, I will take a flight. And then presumably something physical happens, like mm. Lucifer jumps off the promontory or <laughs> and is on a bit of string or something. Or God, you know, 
God, who is, after all, omnipresent, does some kind of physical gesture while Lucifer is flying to banish him, you know, some kind of stage transformation. Yes, just like that. Bit of string gets cut and, uh, 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 or the stage itself, can, the back cloth or something can transform. Um, if they have a back cloth, I don't even know. Um, but, so this is, um, I think that's a really exciting way of staging the fall of Lucifer. It's left a gap where the, your actors and your director, uh, if such you have, can, um, can decide what happens. Yeah, and it's say it just gives God a bit more room to breathe and being a slightly more likable person. He doesn't become vengeful God in this text, or so far. I mean, I don't know how cross he's going to be with Adam, um, but, you know, because we don't have that bit in the manuscript. But it, it, I, I say I was quite liking God, and, you know, that doesn't happen often. Um, not a fan. Not a fan. Um, uh, any other thoughts about pageant number one, Eric? I was going to say that then, like, if we say that like, it was staged that way in terms of like a sort of, you know, like a string is cut or whatever, that's one hell of a costume change, <laughs> pun intended. Um, because, um, like, I don't know, Lucifer falls, takes flight, wherever, and then immediately the demons are, like, sort of crying, oh, yeah, you're, you're going ugly, basically. Um, or, well, we've gone ugly, and then he's gone ugly. I don't know. It's, it's unclear. Mm, yeah, something something's going on. You know, the medieval equivalent of Velcro whips off the, the a layer of costume. Um, it's it's quite difficult for, for earlier costume to do that kind of quick sudden transition because you don't you don't have uh, some of the mechanical devices that you know the the costume devices that we we have. Uh, Helen. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking of a uh, um, the angels being a sort of enveloping loose garment. And as they fall, the garment remains, and they they have underneath their their more demonic outfits. Mm. They basically rip the wings off, and <laughs> uh, and and uh, that, that's what you've got left. Mm. Okay. Um, any more for any more? Otherwise, we will go on to further business. Uh, we skip the, uh, the 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 gap. Um, and we can say uh, farewell to Lindsay. Um, I mean, she, she's not disappearing completely, but Lindsay, um, have a have a good evening. I hope everything goes well. Um, and we go on to uh, Cain and Abel. Um, as a note that this uh, might be associated with Glovers uh, in the manuscript, um, and uh, yes, and it is the only one I think in the manuscript that actually is given a number as well. That this is the second pageant. So, uh, though, again, uh, there's all sorts of question, questions about editorial uh, work that we're not going to be bothering with at uh, this time. But uh, I'm sure it's very interesting and which we will get to at some point. Uh, otherwise, we're going to go on and uh, read the plays. So, um, uh, pageant number two, uh, Abel. Uh, starting off with Garcio and Kane. All hail, all hail, both blithe and glad, for here come I, a merry lad. Be peace, your din, my master bad, or else the devil you speed. Won't ye not I come before? But who the jangles any more? He must blow my black boil, my black coil bore, both behind and before, till his teeth bleed. Fellows, here I you forbid to take neither noise nay cried whoso is so hardy to do that deed the devil hang him up to try deadlings i'm a full great what a good yeoman my master hat full well he'll him can begin he with you for to strife certes then mon ye never thrive but i trow by god on life some of you are his men but let your lips cover your ten <laughs> harlots everyone for if my master come, welcome him then. Farewell, for I am gone. Go forth, grain on, and wore out grime. Draws on, God give you ill to time. You stand as if you're fallen in swine. What, will ye no further, mare? Oh, let me see how down we'll draw. Yet shrew, yet pull on a thrall. 
what it seems for me ye stand on awe. I say, donning go fair. Yeah, God give thee sorrow and care. Lo, now heard she what I said. Now, yet art thou the worst mare in plough that ever I had. How, pike harness, how? Come hither, belife. I fend God's for what that ever thou thrive. What well, boy, shall I both hold and drive? Is thou not how I cry? Say, Mullenstott, will you not go? Learning moral, white one, go. Now will you not see how they hide? Don't give thee sorrow, boy. Want to meet it, Gars? There, proven sir, for thee I lay, I lay behind their arras and ties them fast by the necks with many stains in their hex. That shall be by thy false checks. And have again is right. I am thy master. Will thou fight? Yea, with the same measure and weight that I borrow will, quite, will I quite. Yeah. Now nothing but call on tide that we had ployed this land. Horror, moral, go forth, height, and let the plough stand. Abel. Abel. Sorry, I was, for a moment, I was unable. Uh, still looking for, there we go. It's a bit early in the play to be calling for Abel uh, in a mysterious offstage voice. Uh <laughs> God, as he both may and can, speed thee, brother, and thy man. Come kiss my arms. Me list not banners welcome stands there out. Thou should abide till thou were called. Come now and either drive or hold and kiss the devil's tout. No grease thy sheep under the towel, for that is thee most lief. Brother, there is none here about that would thee any grief. But leave, brother, hear my saw. It is the custom of our law, all that work as the wise shall worship God with sacrifice. Our father us bad, our father us kend, that we are, that our tend should be brend. Come forth, brother, and let us gang to worship God. We dwell full lang. Give we him part of our fee, corn or cattle, whither it be. And therefore, brother, let us wend, and first, Cleanse us from the fiend, ere we make sacrifice. Then, bliss without an end, get we for our service of him that is our soul's leech. Oh, uh, if all your geese, the fox will preach. How long will thou me a peach with thy sermoning? Hold thy tongue, yet I say. Even there the good wife struck the hay, or sit down in the devil way with thy vain carping should i leave my plow and all thing and go with thee to make offering <laughs> that finds me not so mad go to the devil and say i bad what gives god thee to rose him so me he gives naught but sorrow and rope woe cain leave this vain carping for god gives thee all thy living yeah Borrowed I never a farthing of him. Hear my hand. Brother, as elders have us kenned, first we should tend with our hand, and to his loving Sivan be brend. My farthing is in the priest's hand since last time I offered. Leave, brother, let us be walkend. I would our tend were proffered. Where, wherefore should I tend, leaf brother? For I am each year worse than other. Hear my troth, it is none other. My winnings are but mean. No wonder if that I be lean. Full long till him I made me mean. For by, by him that me dear bought, I trow that he will, he will lend me naught. Uh, yes, all the good thou hast in woan of God's grace is but alone. Long. Has come thrift upon thee so, for he has ever yet been my foe. For had he my friend been, other gates it had been seen. When all men's corn was fair in field, then was mine not worth a nail. When I should 
so and wanted seed and of corn had full great need then gave he gave he me none of his no more will i give him and this hardly old me to the rage if i stirred him into shame leave brother say not so but let us forth together go good brother let us when soon no longer here i read we hone yay yay thou jangles wast the devil may speed if i have asked as long as i may live to deal my good or give either to god or yet to man of any good that ever i won for had i given away my good then might i go with a ribbon hood it's better hold that i have than go from door to door and crave brother come forth in god's name i am full feared that we get blame high we fast that we were there yeah. run on in the devil's name before well, nay man i hold thee mad when's thou now that i list gad to give away my world's aught the devil him speed at me so taught what needed i my travel to lose to wear my shoon and ride my hose Dear brother, it were great wonder that thou and I should go in sunder. Then would our father have great fairly. Are we not, brother, thou and I? No. But cry on, cry whilst thee think good. Hear my troth, I hold thee would. Whether thee be blithe or wroth to deal my good is me full loath. I've gone oft on softer wise, there I trout some proud would rise, but well I see, go must I need. Now, when before, he'll mark no speed, so that we all gate, we shall all gates go. Leave, brother, why sayest thou so? But go we forth, both together, blessed be God, we have fair weather. Lay down the trussle upon this hill. Uh, forsooth, brother, so I will. God of heaven, take it to good. Thou shalt tend first, if thou wilt would. God, that shape both earth and heaven, I pray to thee, thou hear my steven, and take him thank, if needs will, if thy will be, the tend that I offer here to thee. For I give it in good intent, to thee, my lord, that all has sent. I bren it now with steadfast thought in worship of him that has all wrought. Rise, let me be the house and thou art known. Lord of heaven, thou hear my boon, and over God's forebot bid it be to thee, thank or few to con me. Well, I broke these thumb. For as broke I these two shanks, is full sore, my own thanks, the pain that I here give to thee, a corn or thing that knewest me. And now begin, will I then? Then I must need my tent of bren. One sheath, one. This makes two. Ooh. But neither of these may I forego. Two, two. Now, this is three, yet yeah, this also shall leave with me, for I will choose and best have. This hold I thrift of all this stray. Remo, remo, four, lo, here. Better grieve me, no, this year at that were time I so fur corn, yet was it such when it was shorn? Thistles and briars, yea, great plenty, and all kin weeds that might be. Four sheaths, four, lo, this makes five. Devil, I fast thus longer I thrive. Five and six, now this is seven. This gets never God of heaven, nor none of these four at my might shall never come in God's sight. Seven, seven, now this is eight. Uh, Cain, brother, thou art not God betaught. Well. Therefore is it that I say, for I will not deal my good away. But I, had I given him this detained, then would thou say he were my friend? I think not by the hood to depart so lightly from a good. Way eight, 
eight, nine, and ten is this. Well, this may be best miss. Give him that that lies Thor. Goes against mine heart full sore. Cain, tend right of all bedeen. Wait, row twelve. 15, 16. Cain, thou tends wrong and of the worst. Wait, come now and hide mine een in the waning, wist ye now at last. Or else will thou that I wink, then shall I do no wrong, methink. Let me see now how it is. Lo, yet I hold me paid. I tended wonder well by guess, and even so I lay. Cain, of God, me think thou hast no dread. Now, when he get more, the devil me speed as much as one reap. For that came in full light cheap, not as mickle great and as small as he might wipe his arse withal. For that and this that lies here have cost me full dear. Was it shorn and brought in stake? Had I many a weary back? Therefore, ask me no more of this. That I have given that my will is. Cain, I read thou tend right, for dread of him that sits on height. Thou that I tend, reck thee never a dell. Yet tend thy scabbage sheep well. For it but for, if thou to my tame tent take, it be the worse for thy sake. Thou would I gave him this sheath or this sheath? Yeah. Neither of these two will I leave. But take this, now, he, now is he too. With my soul, now must it go. Let it go sore against my will, and shall he like full ill. Cain, I read thee, so tend that God of heaven be thy friend. My friend? Yeah, not but if he will. I did him never yet but skill. If he be never so my foe, I am a vine, give him no more. Change thy conscience, as I do mine, yet tame, now, tame thou not thy method, swine. If thou tend right, thou mon it find. Yea, tis the devil's arse behind, the devil hang thee by the neck. How that I tend, never thou wreck. Wilt thou not yet hold thy peace? This jangling I read thou cease, and tend I will, or tend I ill. Bear thee even, and speak but skill. But now, sin thou hast tended thine, now will I set fire on mine. Hey, ow, adult, help to blow! <laughs> it will not burn for me, I trow. <sighs> this smoke does me much shame. Will I burn with a devil's name? Oh, what devil of hell is it? Almost had my breath been dit. Had I blown one blast more, I'd been choked with right thaw. Stank like the devil in hell, that longer there might I not dwell. Cain, this is not worth one leak. Thy tent should bren without and smoke. So kiss the devil right in the arse. For thee it brens, but the worse. I would that it were in thy throat. Fire and sheath, and it just sprout. Cain, why art thou so rebel against thy brother Abel? There thou neither flit nor chide. If thou tend right, thou gettest thy meed. If thou be second, and be thou secker if thou tamed false, thou beest allowed there after us. Why, who's that hob over the wall? Oh, bugger. Yes, who is that hob over the wall? Way, who was that? Hmm, that pipe so small. Come, go we ends for perils all. God is out of his wit. Come forth, Abel, let us wend. We think that God is not my friend. On land, then, will I flit. Uh, Cain, brother, that is ill done. No, but go we hence soon. And if I may, I shall be there, and God shall let me see. Dear brother, 
I will fare on field there our beasts are, to look if they be whole or full. Now abide. We have a craw to pull. Hark, speak with me or they go. What, whence out to escape so? What? No. I owe thee foul and I owe thee a foul despite. Now is the time that I hit quite. Brother, why art thou so to me in ire? Wait, thief, why brend thy ten so shire? They're minded but smoked. Right as it would have, us both choked. God's will, I trow it, were that mine brend so clear. If thine smoked, am I to wit? Well, yea, that, that, that shall thou soar a bit. With cheap bone ere that I blin. Shall I thee and thy life twin, so lie down there and take thy rest, thus shall shrews be chastised best. Vengeance, vengeance, Lord, I cry, for I am slain and not guilty. Yeah, lie there, old shrew, lie there, lie. And if any of you think I did amiss, I shall amend it worse than it is. Then all that that all men may it see well worse than it is. Right, so shall it be. But now, sin is brought on sleep, into some hole fain would I creep, for feared I quake, and can no read, for be I taken, I'll be but dead. Here will I lie these forty days, and I shrew him. That me first raise. Cain. Cain. Who is that that calls me? I am yonder. May thou not see? Cain, where is thy brother Abel? What? Hast thou me? I trow at hell. At hell I trow he be. Whoso were then that mighty see. Or oh, 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 somewhere fallen on sleeping. When was he in my keeping? Cain, Cain, thou wast wood, the voice of thy brother's blood, that thou hast slain on false wise, from earth to heaven vengeance cries. And for thou hast brought thy brother down, here I give thee my malaison. Yea, deal about thee, for I will none. I'll take it thee when I am gone. Sin, I have done so mickle sin, that I may not thy mercy win, and thou dost me from thy grace. I shall hide me from thy face. And where so any man may find me, let him slow me hardly. Where so any man may, may me meet, either by sty or yet by street, and hardly when I am dead, bury me in good bun of the quarrel head. For I, may I pass this place in quart, by all men set I not a fart. Nay, Cain, it be not so. I will that no man other slow, for he that slows thee young or old, it shall be punished sevenfold. No force, I won't whither I shall, in hell I won't moan be my stall. It is no boy mercy to crave, for if I do I moan none have. But this course I would were hid. For some man might come at ungain. Fly, for shrew would he bid, And when I had my brother slain. But were pike harness, my knave here, We should bury him both in fear. How, pike harness, scape thrift. Uh oh, pike harness, uh oh. Master, master? Master, boy. There's a pudding in the pot. Take thee that, boy, take thee that. I shrew thy bull under thy hood if thou were my sire of flesh and blood, all the day that run trotten ever ever among the, thy thou strikened. <laughs> Thus I am coming buffets to foot. Peace, man, I did it but to use my hand. 
But Hark Boy, I have a council, do they to say. I uh, slay my brother this same day. I pray thee, good boy, and I may, to run away with the bane. Wait, out, out upon thee, thief, hast thou, brother, thou thy brother slain? Peace, man, for God's pain, I said it for a scance. Yea, but for fur thee of grievance, gr grievance I thee, here I thee forsake. We may have a mickle mischance, and the bales us take. I, I cry you mercy, cease. And I shall make you a release. What, wilt thou cry my peace throughout this land? Yeah, that I give God a vow. Leave. How wilt thou do, long or that thou thrive? Stand up, my good boy, for life. And them, peace, both man and wife, and whoso will do after me, full slap of thrift, then shall he be. But thou must be my good boy, and cry, oh yeah. Oh yeah, boy. <coughs> browse, browse to thy boy. I command you in the king's name. And in my master's false cane. That no man at them find fault to blame. Yea, cold <coughs> roast is at my master's name. Neither with him, nor with his knave. What? I hope my master rave. For they are true full manifold. My master sups no coil but cold. The king writes you until. Yes, I, eat, I never half my fill. The king will that they be safe. Yea, a drought of drink thing I would have. At their own will, let them wave. My stomach is ready to receive. Look, no man say to them, one nor other. This same is he that slow his brother. Bid every man them love and lout. Yea, ill spun weft we, we, I comes foul out. Longer they get the house than thus, and thou thus thou go thus about. Bid every man them please to pay. Yea, give Don thine horse a whisper of hay. <laughs> Come down in twenty devil way, the devil I thee betake. For but it were able my brother, yet knew I never thy make. Now old and young, or let you wed <coughs> the same blessing without an end. All the sa all same, then, shall you have that God of heaven my master has given. Brock it well, wells that ye live, and he vouch it full well safe. Come down, yea, the devil's way, and anger me no more. Take young plough, I say, and wend thee forth, fast before. And I shall, if I may, teach thee another law. I warn thee, lad. For I throw now forth evermore that thou grieve me not. For thy God is sides, if thou do, I shall hang thee upon this plough with this rope, lo, lad, lo, by him that me dear bought. Now, farewell, fellows all, for I must needs wend into the devil be thrall, world without an end. Bordain there is my stall. With Satanus, the fiend, ever ill might him befall, but thither me commend this tide. Farewell, bless, farewell more, for now and evermore I will go me to hide. And thus uh, closes uh, the play. And isn't it nice <coughs> that we found, uh, I think, our first instance of the Oye's gag, uh, which mm. we've had so many times um over the you know the proceed uh, the following hundred odd years <laughs> hundred hundred fifty years of drama that we've been looking at um and yeah it's 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 odd that we've sort of finally got around to finding its first instance um or earliest instance i think that we've got it um so yeah it's a good gag it's a, it's it's ever ready um and it's i think one of the best examples of it actually there's some really nice li lines in there. Uh, thoughts on the room, Liza? It is really nicely written, that, that antiphonal Oye's uh, bit. And Cain's last speech is just chilling. That um, he, he starts by threatening his servant. That's pretty standard comedy stuff. Then he swears by him that me dear bought. He swears by Christ. And then 
and Stephen really, uh, Stephen gave this line a lovely reading. He addresses the audience as fellows all, that, you know, the audience are all his fellows, his, his sinners. And then he goes and, yeah, I mean, you can see that uh, when, when uh, Garcio pick harness uh, comes on, uh, he has to tell the audience repeatedly to be quiet, so there's probably some booing. But for Kane's last speech, you can just see it being deathly silent. Hmm. And there's there's just the way the Kane structure. You know, the the it's like you know, God's obviously said, uh, right, that's it. You're do you're somewhat doomed. And but and then we're back into this comedy hijinks with with Garcio, and and all these lots of staging questions here about the. The, the horses and the oxen that you know are, are in theory being used to drive this plow because they seem they actually seem present i mean they could be off but they feel very present and garcio seems to be climbing around and on top of things and running around um and that raises all sorts of interesting questions about how this all functions um stephen did you say these would uh, might be the glovers uh, there's at uh, the very beginning of the uh, the manu this part of the manuscript. It, it, there's glove uh, is is there. I don't think it's even a completed word. I, th I think I can't remember which it was, but when we were doing York, there was a, I think it was it may not have been the glovers, but there was a trade which you know you could work out had access to animals, uh, and they had real animals in their play as well in York. So if you think if you think about the trade, I guess, which is the dealing with hides and, and animal skins, isn't it? Mm. Uh, I, I can't remember which York play it was, but I'm pretty sure there was a York play, and the, and the the guild was it, uh, it was connected to animals because it worked with animal carcasses. I can't remember if it was the butchers or the glovers or who it was. Uh, Cain and Abel in York was the glovers. <clears throat> So uh, there's some similarities there. Um, uh, uh, other thoughts? I, I like the logic of Cain uh, when you know the servant complains about being hit, and he says, "Oh, I, I, I did it, but to use my hand. You know, it's just it was just exercise. You just happened to be in the way." Um, good logic there. Um, all the stuff about the tithes that they're trying to give to God, uh, Cain's. Uh, all of Kane's deciding the decision making process, you know, one for me, uh, well, maybe, I don't know, two for me, three for me, uh, maybe one for God. Um, you know, he really doesn't want to give God anything. And then when he burns it, it's all smoke and no fire. You know, whereas Abel, you know, chucks a sheep on the barbie and, uh, and it all goes uh, lovely. I'm hoping the sheep is is dead at that point because I think that would just be horrific. Uh, Stephen, so do you think we've got a smoke effect here? Then I think so. Yeah, hmm. I think a smoke effect is relatively straightforward to organise. Um, you know, even then, I mean, it'll be it won't be pleasant, but it's very doable. Uh, especially as Kane is constantly talking about kissing, uh, kiss my ass. I mean, th that's basically Kane's go-to insult is, you know, kiss my ass, kiss the devil's ass. He says it a lot. It's like he doesn't have us any, anything else to give in terms of uh, comedy insults. Uh, Liza. Well, Pike Harness opens up the play with pretty much exactly the same, the same salutation. He that who that jangles any more, he must blow my black hole bore b both behind and before till his teeth bleed. I mean, that's pretty much the most intense kiss my ass I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, top that, Kane. <laughs> yeah, uh, Eric. Yeah, I almost said something else at that point. That's why I had to stop and then start that sentence again. Um yeah, I don't know. It's interesting how you get this elaborate like debate between Abel and Cain, like you know, Abel trying to convince Cain that this is wrong, and then it just escalates. Whereas, like in, I think it was in New York where, or in town, I can't remember the one that had like basically this comedy character turn up and try to convince sort of like basically a clown, sort of similar to Garcia, I think, uh, who was kind of probably going to help Cain 
get rid of the body or something. Um, and I, I just remember this because Alexander was here doing the whole like changing roles. Anyway, um, and yeah, it was quite very different vibe. I mean, this feels almost like a comedy sketch with like morality thrown into it by accident. Uh, Stephen. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, ableist is, is just a really dull sort of placeholder straight man. Um, at, at the sort of the sheaves point, it's it's just designed to uh, bounce something back to get uh, Kane even more annoyed. There is a sort of shtick here, which is him. He just kind of perpetually got do, sort of doing a Basil faulty and getting more and more angry and, and agitated about it all. But, you know, there is a sort of line there, but I didn't really pick anything up with Abel at all. It was just a kind of a straight person. Well, not even a straight person. There's, well, there's no change in Abel from the beginning of the play to the end. Yeah, I, I, I don't think many Abels get that much um, going going on in that sense. It's it's that always that problem with the good people. Um, I think what's interesting here is, of course, Abel's making a point that's really difficult to get to work. Because, you know, he's going, you know, you should give God your tie because he made us and, and things. And he's going, well, why? It's like, why would I give my best stuff? Why would I do that? And Abel's trying to give all these reasons. And, of course, you know, it, it, it's, it's only when he gets his comeuppance that we, the audience, sort of get to see that it's not just that God's going to come down and get you. Actually, there are real-world consequences for being an arsehole. Um, and, uh, you know, it's... Um, you know, it's uh, yeah, and it's this uh, this uh, cheekbone of uh, of some sort of animal um, that that he uses. Uh, Liza, then uh, Helen. Um, yeah, a couple things. Um, firstly, that Kane addressing the audience at the end as his fellows, like. Who hasn't fiddled their taxes or their their tithe or given like the the worst stuff for their tithes? Um, like people in the audience, I, I think the church was imposing tithes on people at this stage, right? So people in the audience would have had to make that decision and like, who among us has not? Um, so that's, I guess, one way that the city authorities could put, put the fear into, into um, people. But also, okay, in the times we live in, and especially the past year we just lived through, this Cain and Abel thing is pretty chilling. The, I mean, it's it's chilling anyway. It's the story of a murder. But Abel keeps telling Cain to, no, no, do it right. Please, just like, do it like it says in the, in the, in, in the do it like God literally told us to. Um, and Cain resents another person telling him what to do so much. And also that, his brother's offering, of course, is well received by God and burns with a clear flame and isn't all smoky, but... It, you know, you can see the the anger of of people who like if you work in retail, if you work in food service, the people who are asked to abide by simple regulations, and they turn on you with this rage. Um, and I don't know, you can you can see that in in Kane, I think. Yeah, you don't want to get his order wrong, uh, Helen. Yeah, uh, this is going to be a very stupid interjection, but. Um, I read a paper, and I can't remember who by or what the conclusion was, but it was extraordinarily interesting, I remember, except that I don't remember why it was interesting, and it was all about the conflict between the growers and the pastoralists in medieval times, and how much of that played into the various Cain and Abel narratives. And apparently there is a lot here that we miss because we're not clued up on what was actually going on. Mm. Yeah. I throw that out as a... and wish I could remember more. Mm. An interesting uh, thought. Uh, briefly now, uh, Eric uh, and other thoughts, um, but uh, we'll be moving on in a moment. I'm just wondering why Kane wants Garcio to be the crier. Is that like sort of just like sort of, yeah, you know, you have to tell people that I didn't do this, although I did. Is that the point? Or is that just yeah. like sort of, hey, comedy shtick? 
Well, yes, he's also set up for comedy shtick, yes. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think his original idea was to try and pin it on him. Um, but um, but yeah, it's just, yeah, tell them I'm, I'm there's no bodies here. <laughs> Where have we seen that before? Hmm. Okay, we have a Noah play to get through, and it's a long one. Uh, we may pause in the middle. We may just let it flow. Uh, we have <coughs> Noah. We have God. Uh, we have uh, Noah's wife. We also have the three sons of Noah and their three respective uh, wives. Um, they will alternate slightly and be effectively the same people occasionally. <coughs> um, but hopefully that will flow reasonably well. Uh, but otherwise, we'll dip straight into... Uh, Let's us play three, and it's Noah. Mightful God, Vere, maker of all that is, three persons without a name, one God in endless bliss. Thou made both night and day, beast, fowl, and fish, all creatures that live may, wrought thou at thy wish, as thou well might. The sun, the moon, Ferrament, thou made the firmament, the sterns also full for vent, to shine thou made full bright. Angels thou made full even, all orders that is to have the bliss in heaven. This that this did thou more and less, full marvellous to heaven. Yet was there unkindness more by fold seven than I can well express. For why, of all angels in brightness, God gave Lucifer most lightness, yet proudly he flit his days and set him even him by. He thought himself as worthy as him that him made in brightness, in beauty. Therefore, he him degrade, put him in a low degree. Soon after, in a braid, him and all his many, where he may be unglad forever, shall they win away hence to me. Never dissever. Soon after, that gracious Lord to his likeness made man that place to be restored, even as he began. Of the Trinity, by accord, Adam and Eve, that woman, to multiply without discord, in paradise put he them, and sithen to both gave in commandment on the tree of life to lay no hand. But yet the false fiend made him with man wroth, enticed man to gluttony, stirred him to sin in pride. But in paradise securely might no sin abide, and therefore man full hastily was put out in that tide, in woe, and wandereth for it to be in pains full unrid to know. First in earth, then in hell with fiends for to dwell, but he is mercy mel to those that will him draw. Oil of mercy he has height, should I have heard read, to every living white that would love him and dread. But now, before his sight, every living laid, most party, day and night, sin in word and deed, full bold, some in pride, ire and envy, some in covetous and gluttony, some in sloth and lechery, and otherwise manifold. Therefore, therefore I dread, lest God on us will take vengeance, the sin is now allowed without any repentance. Six hundred years and odd have I, without distance in earth, as any sod lived with great grievance all way. Now I wax old, sick, sorry, and cold, as muck upon mould I wither away. But yet will I cry for mercy and call, No, thy servant am I. Lord over all, therefore me and my fry shall with thee fall, save from villainy, and bring to thy hall in heaven, and keep me from sin, this world within. Comely king of mannequin, I pray thee hear my stubborn. Sin I have made all thing that is livened, 
duke, emperor, and king with mine own hand, for to have their liking by sea and by sand, every man to my bidding should be bound, full fervent. That made man such a creature, fairest of favour, man must love me per amour, by reason and repent. <clears throat> Methought I showed man love when I made him to be all angels above, like to the Trinity, and now in great reproof. Full low lies he, in earth himself to stuff with sin that displeased me most of all. Vengeance will I take in earth for sin's sake. My grand thus will I wake, both of great and small. I repent full sore that ever ma made I man. By me he set no store, and I am his sovereign. I will destroy, therefore, both beast, man, and woman. All shall perish, less and more, that bargain may they ban, that ill has done. In earth I see right naught, but sin that is unsought, of those that well has wrought, find I but a foe. Therefore I shall fordo all this middle earth with floods that shall flow and run with hideous wrath. I have good cause thereto, for me no man is firm, as I shall say, as I say shall I do, of vengeance draw my sword and make an end of all that bears life, save Noah and his wife, for they would never strife with me, then me offend. Him to mickle win, hastily will I go to Noah my servant, or I blend to warn him of his woe. In earth I see but sin, rain and to and fro, among both more and mine, each on other foe. With all their intent, all shall I fordo, with floods that shall flow, work shall I them woe that will not repent. <laughs> Noah, my friend, I thee command, from cares thee to keel, a ship that thou ordained of nail and board full will. Thou wast always well workened to me true as steel, to my bidding obedient friendship shalt thou feel to meet. Of length thy ship shall be three hundred cubits, warn I thee, of height even thirty, of fifty, as in bread. Anoint thy ship with pike and tar, withouten as within, the water out to spar. This is a noble gin. Look no man thee mar, the three these chambers begin. Thou must spend many a spar this work ere thou win to end fully. Make in thy ship also parlours, one or two, and houses of office more, for beasts that there must be. One cubit on height, a window shalt thou make, on the side a door with slight, beneath thou shalt take. With thee shall no man fight, nor do thee kin no rake, when all is done thus right, thy wife, that is thy make, take in to thee. Thy sons of good fame, Sem, Japheth, and Came, take in also Hame, their wives also three. 
for all shall be fordone that live on land but ye, with floods that from above shall fall, and that plenty. It shall begin full soon to rain incessantly. After seven days, seven be done, and endure days forty without and fail. Take to thy ship also of each kind beasts too, male and female, but no more, or thou pull up by sail, for they may thee avail when all this thing is wrought. Stuff thy ship with victual, for hunger that ye perish naught, of beasts, fowl, and cattle, for them have thou in thought. For them is my counsel, that has some succour be sought, in haste. They must have corn, and hay, and other meat always. Do now, as I thy thee say, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Benedictus. What art thou that thus tells afore that shall be? For thou art full marvellous. Or tell me for charity thy name, so gracious. My name is of dignity and also full glorious to know. I am God, most mighty, one God in Trinity, made thee and each man to be to love me well, thou or. I thank thee, Lord so dear, that would vouchsafe thus low to appear to a simple knave. Bless us, Lord, here, for charity I it crave, the better may we star the ship that we shall have, certain. Noah, to thee and to thy fry, my blessing grant I. Ye shall wax and multiply and fill the earth again when all these floods are past and fully gone away. Lord, homeward will I haste as fast as I may. My wife will have phrased what she will say, and I'm aghast that we get some fray betwixt us both, for she is full teethy, a little oft anger. If anything wrong be, soon is she wroth. And he turns to his wife. Hey, Godspeed, dear wife. How fare ye? Now, as ever might I thrive, the worse I be see. Do tell me, belive, where thou hast thus long be. To dead may we drive or live for thee for want. When we sweat or swink, thou does what thou think. Yet of meat and drink have we very scant. Why, we are halves dead with tithings new. But thou were worthy be clad in Stafford blue, for thou art alway adread, be it false or true. But God knows I am led, and that may I rue full ill. For I dare be thy borrow, from even unto morrow, thou speaks ever of sorrow. God send thee once thy fill. We women may weary all ill husbands. I have one by Mary that loosed me of my bands. If he teen, I must tarry, howsomever it stands, with semen full sorry, ring and both my hands for dread. But yet other while, what with game and with guile, I shall smite and smile and quit him his need. <laughs> Hold thy tongue, Ramsgate, or I shall thee still. By my thrift, if thou smite, I shall turn thee until. We shall assign as tight. Have it ye, Gil. Upon the bone shall it bite. Oh, ah, so merry thou smites ill. Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh, ee. But I suppose I shall not in thy debt flit of this flet. Uh, no, no, your shoe's untied. Take thou there a languette to tie up thy hose. <laughs> Wilt thou so? Then marry that is mine. Oh, thou shalt three for two, I swear by God's pine. If, and I shall quiet thee, though, in faith of sin. Out upon thee, ho! <laughs> if thou 
can go both bite and whine with a red. For all that she strike, yet fast will she strike. In faith I hold none slight in all middle earth. But I will keep charity, for I have a do. Here shall no man tarry thee, I pray thee go too. Full well may we miss thee as ever have I rue. To spin will I dress me. Well, farewell, lo. But why pray for me, Bessile, to ask I come unto thee? Even as thou prays for me, as ever might I thrive. I tarry full long from my work, I trow. Now my gear will I fang and thither would draw. I may fall ill gang, the sooth for to naught, but if God help among, I may sit down door to ken. Now, a say will I, how I can of right tree. The nomine patri sit fili, his spirit to sancti, amen. To begin, of this tree my bones will I bend. I trow from the trinity succour will be sent. It first full fair, think me, this work to my head. Now, blessed be he that can this amend. Lo, here the length, three hundred cubits evenly. Of breed low is fifty. The height is even thirty cubits full strength. Now, my gown will I cast and work in my coat. Make will I the master I flip one foot. Oh, my back, oh, a trow will brass. This is a sorry note. It's wonder that I last such an old dope. Old dole to begin such a work. My bones are so stark. No wonder if they work, for I am full old. <sighs> the top and the sail, both will I make. The helm and the castle also will I take. To drive each nail will I not forsake. This gear may never fail. That dare I undertake on one. This is a noble gift. These nails, so they run for a more and mine. These boards, each one. Window and door, even as he said. Three chis chamber, they're well made. Pike and tar, full sure, thereupon laid. This will ever endure, therefore am I paid. For why it was better wrought than I could have thought. Him that made all of naught, I thank only. Now, will I hire me and nothing be lither? My wife and my many to bring even hither. Tend hither tidily, wife, and consider, it's me plea. All sum together in haste. Why, sir, what ails you? Who is that assails you? To flee it avails ye, and ye be aghast. There's gone on the rail other, my dame. Tell me that each a deal, else ye get blame. He that cares may keel, blessed be his name. He has for our seal to shield us for shame, and said all this world about with floods so stout that shall run on a rout, shall be overlaid. He said, all shall be slain, but only we, our barns that are bane, and their wives three, a ship he bade me ordain to save us, and our fee. Therefore, with all our main, thank we that free, bitter of bale, hire us fast, go we thither. I wot never whither, I daze and I dither for fear of that tale. I can be not afeard, have done. Trust some our gear, that we be there or none without more dear. It shall be done full soon, brother, help to bear. Full long shall I not hoy, uh, to do my devour, brother, same. Without any help, but my might shall I help. Yet for dread of a scalp, help fell thy dame. Now we're there. As we should be. You get in our gear, our cattle and fee into this vessel here, my children free. I was never aboard heir as ever mote I fee in such an Austria as this. And faith I cannot find which is before and which behind. But shall we here be pined, Noah, as have thou bliss? Dame, 
as it is skill, here must us abide grace. Therefore, wife, with good will, come into this place. Sir, for Jack nor for Jill will I turn my face, till I have on this hill spun a space on my rock. Well were he might get me, now will I down set me. Yet read I no man let me for dread of a knock. Behold to the heaven! The cataracts all there open, full even, great and small, and the planet seven left us their stall. These thunders and leaven down go full, full stout, both halls and bowers, castles and towers, full sharp are these showers that runs about. Therefore, wife, have done, come it to shit fast. Yea, Noah, go clout thy shoon, the better will they last. Good mother, come in soon, for all is overcast, both the sun and the moon. And many wind blast full sharp, these floods so they run, therefore, mother, come in. In faith, yet will I spin, all in vain, ye carp. If ye like, ye may spin, mother, in the ship. Now is this twice come in, dame, on the friendship. Whether I lose or I win, in faith, thy fellowship set I not at a pin. This spindle will I slip upon this hill, ere I stir one foot. Peter, I trow we don't, without any more note. Come in, if you will. Ooh, yea, water nigh so near that I sit not dry. Into ship with a beer, therefore will I hide, for dread that I drown here. Dame securely at these but sportful dear, ye abode so long by out of ship. I will not, for thy bidding, go from door to midding. Be faith, and for your long tarrying, you shall like on the whip. Spare me not, I prithee, but even as thou think, these great words shall not fray me. Abide to him, a drink, for beaten thou shalt be, with, with this staff do thou stink. The stroke's good. Say me. Oh, what say ye, what wink? Me. Try me mercy, I say. There too say I nay. But thou do, by this day, thy head shall I break. Lord, I were at ease and heartly full holy. Might I once have a mess of widow's coil. For thy soul without lease should I deal penny dole. So would mo, no freeze that I see on this soil. So would mo, no freeze uh, that I see on this soil of wives that are here. For the life that they led, would their husbands were dead. For as ever eat I bread, so would I our sire were. Ye men that has wives, whilst they're young, if ye love their lives, chastise their tongue. Methink my heart rives both lever and long to see such strifes wed men among. But I, as I have bliss, shall chastise this. Yet may ye miss, Nickel Neddy. I shall make thee still as stone, beginner of blunder. I shall beat thee back and bone and break all in thunder. Ow! Hmm. Out alas! I am gone out upon thee, man's wonder. <laughs> See how she can groan, and I lie under. But, wife, in this haste, let us hold. Ooh, for my back is near in two. And I am beat so blue that I may not thrive. Uh, why fray ye thus, father and mother both? Ye should not be so spiteous standing in such a wrath. These are so hideous with many a cold coath. We will do as ye bid us. We will no more be wroth. Dear birds, birds, now to the helm will I hent and to my ship tent. I see on the firmament, we think, seven stars. <laughs> this is a great flood! Wife! Wife! Take heed! Oh, so methought as I stood, 
We are in great dread. These waves are so wood. Oh, God, in this need, as thou art still and good and best as I read of all, thou rulest in this race as thou me behitas. This is a perilous case. Help, God, when we call. Why, tend the star tree, and I shall assay the deepness of the sea that we bear, if I may. That shall I do full wisely. Now go thy way, for upon this flood have we fled many day with pine. Now the water will I sound. Oh, this far to the ground, this travel I expound at I to time. Above all hills bedain, the water is risen late, cubits fifteen. In I estate it may not be, I ween. For this well I wot, this forty days as rain been, it will therefore abate full leal, this water in haste, yet will I taste. Now am I aghast, it is waned a great deal. Now a weather's ceased, and the cataracts knit, both the most and the least. Uh, Methink by my wit the sun shines in the east, uh, lo, is, yon, is not yon it? We should have a good feast where these floods flit, so spite us. We have been here, all we, three hundred days and fifty. Yea, now wanes the sea, Lord, well is us. The third time will I prove what deepness we bear. How long shalt thou hoove, lay in thy line there? I may touch when my love the ground, even here. Ah, then begins to grove to us merry cheer. Uh, but, husband, what ground may this be? Of the hills of harmony. Ah, oh, now blessed can he be that thus for us can ordain. I see tops of hills, eh? Many at a sight. No thing to let me. The weather is so bright. These are of mercy tokens full right. Dame, thou counsel me what fowl best might and coast with flight of wing bring without tarrying of mercy some tokening, either by north or south. For this is the first day of the tenth month. The raven durst I lay will come again soon. As fast as thou may, cast him forth. Have done. He may happen today come again, or none with grath. I will cast out also doves, one or two. Go your way, go. God send you somewhere. Now are these fowls flown into their country. Pray we fast, each one, kneeling on our knee, to him that is alone worthiest of degree. That he would send anon our fowls some fee to glad us. They may not fail of land, the water is so wanened. Thank we God, all well done, that Lord that made us. It is a wonder thing, methinks, soothly. They are so long tarrying. The fowls that we cast out in the morning. Uh, sir, it may be they tarry to they bring. The raven is a hungry all way. He's without any reason. And if he found if and he find any carrion, as peradventure may be found, he will not away. The dove is more gentle. Her trust I unto you, like unto the turtle, for I she is true. Ooh, hence but a little she comes. Loo loo She brings in her bill some novels new. Behold, it is of an olive tree, a branch thinks me. It is sooth per dee, bright so as it is it called. Dove, bird full bliss, fair might thee before, thou art true for to tryst a stone in the wall. Oh, well I it wist that thou would come to thy hall. A true token is we shall be saved all, for why? The water since she come of deepness plumb is fallen a fathom and more hardly. 
these floods are gone, Father, behold. Uh, there is left right none, and that be ye bold. As still as a stone, our ship is stolen. Upon land here and on that we were, fain I would. My childer dear, Sam, Japhet, and Cam, with glee and with gam, come go we all same, we will no longer abide here. Here have we been noe long enough, with tray and with teen and dread mickle woe. Behold, on this green neither cart nor plough is left, that I ween, neither tree than bough nor other thing. All is away, many castles, I say, great towns of array, flit as this flowing. These floods not of fright, all this world so wide, has moved with might on sea and by side. To dead are they dight, proudest of pride, ever it's a white that ever was spied with sin, all are they slain and put into pain. From thence again may they never win. Win? No. He wish, but he that might has would mine of their miss and admit them to grace. As he in bail is bliss, I pray him in this space, in heaven high with his, to purvey us a place that we, with his saints in sight, and his angels bright, may come to his light. Amen for charity. And thus, after the mass slaughter of uh, the almost the entire of humanity um, and an awful lot of livestock and uh, other things, um, yeah, Noah and his wife taking a little moment to go, oh, there's uh, a, lot of, a lot of dead people out there. A lot of dead people. Um, quite a violent relationship between Noah and his wife, but they do seem to give each other as much as they get. Um, there's uh, it's that moment when the, the sons just go, Mummy... Daddy, why do you fight so much? Um, <laughs> um, I liked your, your your depiction of life in the ocean waves. Um, the the uh, the the yeah, it's uh, it's a difficult time. Um, yeah, thoughts in the room about Noah. Uh, I always have a problem with Noah. It's just you know, just you know. Uh, anyway, uh, Helen. There's a whole school of post-catastrophe literature and it's not very well, it's not very good post-catastrophe literature, but it exists. And I was very much reminded of it as they came out of the ark. Mm. Uh, and that, you know, it was, it was quite a moment when they suddenly realized that there was nothing. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and you know, as, as I was mentioning rather facetiously in the chat, um, I'm hoping that the, uh, the 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 flood the flooding doesn't involve a high salt content. Otherwise, their crops aren't going to grow, and they're all going to die. Um, anyway, well, uh, think, of all, uh, think of all the dead fish that are left when the water is recede. They'll they'll rot down. There'll be some nice fertilizer. It'll all be fine. It's the it's the salts. Re it's it's surprising how how little it's salt. It's rain water. Yeah, it's but there's also sea. There's a lot of sea. The planet's very sea orientated. Um. Anyway, I'm I'm overthinking this. Uh, <laughs> for if fun and effect, Eric. I think you wanted to say something serious. Uh. Well, actually, it wasn't that serious. I was just going to say that the violence, the relationship between um. Um, I was going to say between Stephen and Liza, but uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, between Noah and his wife um, was kind of, it reminded me of, um, what was it? Um, uh, John, John, Sir, Tib, Sir John and Tib or something? I can't remember the title. Oh, of the play, John, it, John, it, the husband and Tib, his wife. Yeah. And, and Sir John, the priest. And Sir yes. John, the priest, who basically is like, you know, the only one who's absent is basically the priest. But it feels a lot like that sort of, you know, but you know noah talking himself up sort of like oh yeah i'm totally gonna you know beat you and stuff and then like you know she can totally kick his ass yeah i think in this case um uh the john john aspires to be like noah you know noah and his wife ha have an ongoing r r fighty fighty relationship whereas actually john john 
uh, spends a long time debating the uh, the, the question, and uh, and Biolodge uh, d- doesn't doesn't do it. But yeah, it, it's the the one feeds off this, um, uh, and th- that that sort of idea, Liza. Yeah, at the end of their first scene um, together, they uh, they talk about uh, they, uh, they there's a really interesting moment where. Uh, Noah says, "Oh, wife, uh, pray, pray for me busily till eft I come unto thee," and she says, "Even as thou prays for me, as ever might I thrive." And you can play that a couple ways, given that they've both in the in their scene they've both voiced a hope that each other were dead. Uh, you can you can say, you know, yes, I'll pray for you exactly as much as you pray for me, you little bastard. But it can also be a sort of moment of affection that, like the the mutual violence takes place and then they're like, yep, yeah, same time next week. OK. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, you know, the whole play is basically a two hander between them. Yes. OK. There's a lengthy bit well, uh, there's a discourse. There's, there's, there's a lengthy God. discourse with God. But, you know, in terms of action, you know, that there are three sons and three, uh, their three wives uh, are, you know, they're so tokenistic that, um, you know, they're. They're physically there, I'm sure. Well, um, they're the ones that get the violence to stop. You know, they do have a plot, a plot function. They're not just voices. No, yes. Um, and, and again, there's all this physical stuff that's potentially going on here. Uh, Stephen? Um, yeah, I was just, just following on from that, really. Um, I, I wonder if, if in performance more would be made of the fact that Noah says quite a few times, I'm really, really old. Mm. And so we do have that kind of old husband and much younger wife, presumably, which which pushes it into a whole other kind of medieval tale space. Um, and when the violence at the end, uh, he says something like, um, it's time to stop now because I've put me back out. Mm. And there's a whole sort of thing about he's, he's really sort of, you know, physically quite incapable. He's really ancient. So it's it's in that sense that might sort of equalise it a bit up, you know, that he is he is sort of male versus woman, but it's sort of six hundred year old versus I don't know fifty year old or something like that. Mm. And so you, you could you could you could make it much more comic. Mm. I do like also uh, his relationship with God. I particularly like uh, the fact that you know, so so who are you and 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 God basically just goes, do you not know who I am? <laughs> You know. who, who else did he think he was? That yeah, was the, I mean, this is the thing. Like, complete yeah, stranger. okay, yeah. Just who should I say? Who should I say gave the message? Yeah. I'll get on with the arc, obviously, but can I, you know, just for my records, could I... Uh... Oh, that God. The complete turns up and tells you to build a boat. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you're like, yes, yes, uh, seven cubits, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Sorry, who were you again? <laughs> it, it feels like it should be on a phone, doesn't it? It's just going, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and who's the order from? <laughs> oh, yeah, ah, uh, right. Oh, uh, God, right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, the, 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 the God, God's performance of that moment of just was, was, was very nice. I did enjoy that. Um... Other thoughts, uh, Eric, I think, and then Helen. I was just going to say that the, the, the whole thing seems to be more interesting because because of the dynamic between Noah and his wife rather than the actual, like, like we don't care about the, like, we know what's going to happen, but um, it's just the way it's written. It's kind of, yeah, very engaging and very, like, you know, they, they, they get their own sort of, I don't know, monologue slash soliloquy. To the audience like when when, when the, this storm well i mean presumably a storm is going on they're just like yeah you know take make sure you keep your wife or your husband culture you know, on, on a short leash or something in yeah, case they, they get ideas they they both do this this address to the audience yeah um it's there's there's, there's something interesting about what's going on there uh stephen yeah i mean back back to helen's point really i wonder if all the, the comedy we've been sort of hypothesizing might might have a function in relation to, to the, the apocalypse it'd be it would be a, a very different play wouldn't it because the audience knows that we've got an apocalypse it, um and you know post black death and all of that you know deserted villages and carts left standing as owners of drop dead in fields and all the rest of that you know 
So I, I wonder if the, the particular kind of thing we've got here is actually also a, a, a structural point in, in order to uh, balance out what is actually coming. The, the emphasis, you know, might be, oh, you know, there's, there's the kind of, oh, there's a rainbow in the sky or there's doves coming back, oh, great. But this play really does give a good bit of space, doesn't it? To, and after that, what was it like? Mm. And so, you, you, you know, you, you, I think the play works really well with the comedy because the audience also knows what's, what's coming at the end of it all. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Helen, I didn't go to you. Um... No, that's OK. Um, I'm particularly interested in this play because I have been thinking for some time that it might be possible to cobble together out of the various nerves something that could replace the missing Noah play, which was played annually in Hull. We don't have the text for it at all. But this is a standalone play, it would seem, uh, certainly from the beginning. And if this cycle is not a cycle and is not definitively all belonging to Wakefield, then there is the possibility that this might be the Lost Hull play. Hmm. I mean, I'm, I, there's nothing in it that said it wasn't. Hmm. Um, I've, but... I've... Yes, um, I mean, there's 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 all sorts of possibilities. I mean, it, there's no reason why it's not part of the cycle or it's not connected to the other plays it, uh, uh, or uh, that's in this manuscript. Uh, just um, there's an awful lot of doubt. Um, but there's no reason why you can't appropriate. Um, it's you know it's it's a very appropriatable uh, text is uh, is Townley. But also that um, texts turn up in all sorts of random places as well. I mean, there's a bit of Chester that turns up in East Anglia. Um, so texts move around as well. So there's no there's again there's no there's no particular reason not to. It is also our last last Noah uh, to go through. We've been through all the Noahs now. Um, but about what, six of them, I think. What um, a Noah to end on! It's a, I like this Noah a lot. It's it is nice. They take a little bit of time to think about the 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 the, the, the world that has been left um, at the end. I, I do like that. Uh, I like the sort of very practical seamanship stuff of you know dropping a line to figure out the depth um, of the uh, of the the boat in relation to the land. Uh, you know, it's always nice to know that ravens are always hungry. Um, and, and you know, useful, useful things. Uh, Stephen. Uh, back, back to the audience kind of knowing, knowing the script, as it were. I love the idea that he, he sort of goes, now, wife, what bird shall we send off? And he goes, how about a raven? <laughs> and also, should we try the doves? Mm, maybe. Mm. You know, it's, it's kind of uh, interplay with your, with your expectations here. Um, I, 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 also, the raven is is hungry and is uh, he will find any carrion. And I'm just thinking, there's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. The raven's not very well. Um. <laughs> <laughs> never more, never mm. more, lads. Not again. <laughs> Uh, okay. Any additional things, Eric, and then Helen? I just because we we uh, talked a lot about like sort of you know, Noah and his wife stuff, but um, I, I do like how at the beginning of this you get this huge like sort of well at least it looked huge, but it sort of with very short lines. Um, this huge sort of recap of the story so far, in case you've missed the previous episodes, um, <laughs> it's just like really kind of. No, and no, you kind of get the feeling that there's this continuity with the previous stuff, but also that they're sort of, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's the next day? I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. There, are, there are multiple ways in which uh, these materials were performed. Uh, they, they weren't always done as uh, in individual cycles. They were sometimes separate things. They were sometimes performed in a semi-sequential way, you know. That this is the thing. The medieval world was full of options. There is no one way anything comes about. 
or uh, you know and the the num the thing is they they give us all these tantalizing possible clues you know uh Cain and Abel I, I could I could imagine doing that with with eight people dressed up as 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 panto horses and and oxen um cuz and just really go full full tilt for the absurdity of that um which is probably just as some um, uh, plausible or implausible as any other way of doing it um i don't think i would go that way but um the the, the the you know that that play involved a lot of stuff that we can infer the lucifer sequence involved a lot of stuff we can infer um you know how 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 should it be done however we like really any final thoughts anyone wants to throw in before i close the session Right. Uh, well, we will be returning to Townley. Maybe not uh, immediately. I don't know. And maybe not in order. Um, as I say, Townley is going to be appearing in uh, over the next few weeks and months. Uh, I do intend to complete them relatively swiftly if I can. Um, but I say I don't know precisely what the order will be. It will be partly dependent on who's available and what numbers we have in the room. Um, and so, without further ado, with that promissory note of more Townley in some fashion in the future, thank you very much, all the readers, thank you very much, and goodbye. <laughs>